Hey everybody, Dr. Ray here, and today we are gonna talk about things that I hope that the next version of the Apple Watch has, most likely called Apple Watch 7. All right, let's get into the details. Let me show you what I wanna see the next version have. So first thing, something that I really, really, really hope the Apple Watch has is something to measure your stress. So the Apple Watch already measures your heart rate variability whenever you do the use the Breathe app. What I would like to have happen, so first of all, I'd like to see that HRV, heart rate variability, measured 24 seven along with your heart rate. And I'd like to see it being used to measure your stress level. Garmin does this by using something called body battery. So they give you like a recharge and charge throughout the day. Apple should definitely implement this feature. It's really useful for health. It's useful for stress. It's useful for recovery from working out. It would be beautiful to see this on the next version of the Apple Watch. All right, next feature better button control of the watch. Now I love the touch face on the Apple Watch. However, I work out a lot. So when I get really, really sweaty, when I get out of the pool, especially, especially when I'm surfing and it's cold and I try to touch the watch, my finger's so cold that it won't register that there's a human finger touching the watch. I can't really do much on it. So better button control would be awesome. I don't think it'd be hard to implement, but I think it's something that needs to happen. Better button control. All right, next thing. And this one drives me nuts. The ability to turn off the Wi-Fi. But you're saying, wait, can't you just turn off the Wi-Fi already? Uh, kinda. I can turn off the Wi-Fi, but guess what happens? As soon as I go back near that environment or another environment where I'm connected to Wi-Fi, it automatically turns on. So what happens is I go jogging and I run around like around a circle, like around the block. Um, so I turn off my Wi-Fi so I can listen to my music. And what happens is as soon as I get close to my house again, it just automatically the Wi-Fi goes on. And then when I run past my house again, boom, why it's trying to connect the Wi-Fi, but it's not there and it doesn't automatically go to phone. It stays on Wi-Fi connection and my music just stops every lap. It is a big pain. Just let me turn off Wi-Fi permanently and also fix the fact that the switch between when it's Wi-Fi and not, it should automatically just switch really easily. There shouldn't be like a delay in that switch because what's happening is it's there's, there's a big delay and I'm, my music just stops. All right, next thing, Breathe app. Make this thing longer than five minutes. The Breathe app is awesome. It's a great way, I use it for meditation. It measures your heart rate variability. You can use it to breathe with. Why can't it be 10 minutes or 15 or 20 or 30? Let it be as long as I want it to be. Don't give me a limit on the Breathe, lab, breathe app. I want it to be longer than five minutes because I love the app. I really like it. I use it. I use it for naps even. I use it for all kinds of stuff. I love that app. Just make it longer. Let me have the Breathe app be longer. All right, next thing. And this is inside the workout app. I love a better workout analysis. I think that there are um, a few issues with workout analysis. It just doesn't give me all the info. I really don't like how there's a separate activity app and then uh, the health app. I wish they were combined into one, but I'm missing a lot of info. And why can't you like, let me do better comparisons of like weeks versus weeks, like this week of working out versus last week of working out. Let me do that comparison. Um, Different things like that, maybe even, for those of you that are familiar with it, have a trim score that shows me like how, how I'm recovering and how hard I'm working out compared to previous times. Um, it's, trim score is basically like a measure of your heart rate while you worked out. They give you a score, a rating on how hard it was based on your heart rate, and you can use that for various kinds of comparisons. So uh, those of you that are athletes or familiar with Training Peaks or other pieces of software that use this, I'd love to see that. I think it'd be a cool feature for training status um, to have some kind of like training status with trim score. All right, next thing. And I know they're not having this because I don't, I don't see how it would be implemented, but what do I know? Solar charging. How awesome would that be? My Apple Watch, you know, one of the biggest complaints, and I'd like to say like better battery. That's like what we, that's like the generic, like what we want after every iteration of Apple Watch, right? We want a better battery, better battery. Um, I'm honestly okay with my battery being, um, you know, lasting a day and me having to charge it, but it, it only lasts a day. I can't like 
use it really for the entire day or it will kind of run out. So solar charging would be awesome. For those of you outside running and stuff like that, solar charging would be so cool to have on Apple Watch. So that's a feature, that's like a big wish list feature. I don't think that one can really happen. All right, next thing. And this one is, again, for people who are into, you know, working out aspects, um, especially like biking and stuff, but better connection to sensors. Um, surprisingly, Apple Watch doesn't play very nice. It doesn't connect to actually certain sensors like bike sensors, speed and stuff sensors on your bike whatsoever. And I think that it needs to, especially because they have the whole like exercise app now that you can download, you know, the Apple Apple Fitness. I think that they really need to do a better job of connecting to things. Like I can I can connect my Garmin watch to the Wahoo Fitness like speed and cadence sensor for an indoor bike, but I can't connect my Apple watch to it. I think that needs to happen. All right, next thing. And I've heard rumors that these can happen. Um, I'm not quite sure how accurate or how they will be implemented, but that's both blood pressure, blood glucose estimates or tracking. I think those would be features that would be really cool. I'd enjoy seeing. Um, they're not make or break features for myself, but there's a lot of people in positions, you know, of who have health needs that, and there's a lot of people that could benefit from those health features. So I'd really like to see them eventually implemented. Um, I do know that other watches are able to do it. So I'd really like to see Apple watch able to do that as well. All right, next thing. And this one, this one doesn't bother me so much as it does other people. I understand Apple's position on it, but that would be Android support. Um, I think it would be nice. I personally enjoy using my iPhones, but I've, and I do use Android devices and I have enjoyed their phones in the past. Um, and I think that offering the watch to support, I think there's a lot of people on Android who would love to get an Apple watch, but simply don't because it's not supported and they don't want to switch Android. So I really think Apple needs to do a better job of opening up certain devices like the watch. All right. Um, just two more things. So one thing that so I think this would be awesome and that is body temperature and or air temperature. And I think maybe there's a combination of both. I've actually had some watches that measure your body temperature and they haven't done the best job, but I'd really like to see that technology expanded. I'd like to see body temperature, like on the back, back of the watch. And then I'd like to see air temperature on the face. Like my watch gives me um, current temperature like based on you know weather.com but it doesn't give me the actual air temperature where i'm standing like how cool would it be if my my when i'm surfing and my hands in water for it to give me the water temp because it's measuring the temperature like that would be pretty cool or i'm just outside on a sunny day like and it says this is how hot it is and i guess things like the sun might affect it and make it like overreact like if you put like a thermometer in the sun or near a stove like it gets really really hot I don't know, but I think it'd be cool to have some kind of temperature sensor, even if it's just body temperature. I think that would be awesome. I think it'd be cool to have. I'd like to see it. Um, and then the final thing that I'd like to see on the next version of the Apple Watch is a really super strong screen. I really hate screen protectors. They aren't fun. I know Apple's been doing a better job of, of making the, the glass stronger on both their phones and watches. But there's still some major issues and on a watch i want it to be pretty durable um i like this i like the durability i want to be able to kind of like accidentally throw it like slam it on something and not worry about cracks i get that there maybe could be a little chip or nick where i just hit it but not like watch is destroyed because it has a big crack in it so those are the things i'd really like to see let me run down them really quick for you guys um, and tell you all the stuff that I'd like to see. I'm really excited about the next version or versions of Apple Watch. I feel like that, you know, the difference between Apple Watch from four to five to six have been small incremental features versus three to four, which was a huge jump. Um, so I'd really like to see this one have that big jump in it. All right. I like to see a stress, some measure that measuring stress with HRV 24 seven better button control to watch, ability to turn off Wi-Fi, and better like connection between Wi-Fi and my phone, um, breathe app longer than five minutes, better workout analysis, like some kind of like training status, uh, you know, and being able to like compare previous workouts and stuff like that, solar charging, better connection to external sensors, blood pressure, glucose monitor, Android support, 
for the watch that it connects to Android. Um, better battery. Yeah, again, I get that's a generic one. That's definitely going to always should have better battery. Um, some type of temperature measure, whether it's body or air temperature. And a really super strong screen. All right. Hope you enjoyed the features that I talked about. If you have any features that you think would be cool on the next version of Apple Watch, post them below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks all. Have a great day.